All right, hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to North Devon. Typically we're in Lee Bay today. We've got a subly wind, which means the south coast is completely out of bounds. So I've come to hide under the beautiful Exmoor Hills. Um, I've never fished this place before, so it's gonna be a big learning curve today. See what marks are around, see what the tide's doing. We've got a big, well not a big swell, but quite a rolling swell. So we'll be up and down a little bit today. But we're just hiding in that southerly wind. So yeah, it was a nice chance to fish a new venue. In the summer, there's quite a lot of pollock around here, I think, and the bass and stuff. And I, there was a few fish hiding in between the rocks and some of the pinnacles as I was coming out here. So we'll definitely try and do a little bit of lure fishing today. And usually, like, well, like as usual, we've got squid, mackerel, and a bit of worm today. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Really simple rigs again today. You know what it's all about. Keep it simple on the kayak. And um, yeah, I'll show you all the bits and bobs I do, I'll go catch some fish. First bait going out then, a whole squid on just a simple running ledger rig, about a two foot trace, so it's 4 o specimen extra and a 4 o octopus hook. Just get a bait in the water, see what's around. Again, I don't know what to expect today, I'm sure we're going to get dogfish. I'm sure we'll get a couple of they. They're catching smooth hounds up at Minehead. They're also catching taupe up at Minehead as well this early on. So we've got ourselves a chance of anything today. They say it'd be nice to um, just explore this mark. And uh, maybe come back down here in the summer. Next rod going out then. Gonna try for a taupe, seeing we're right on high tide. So we've got a knot tider down to a macro. I can't remember what size hook or what type of hook that is. I think it's an octopus type thing. Anyway, we're going to chuck this one up tide, away from all the other baits so they don't get tangled. I'm just going to leave him out the back and wait for that run. That's the plan, anyway. We got our first bite of the day. I think it was a bite. Yeah, definite bite on this one. Would you believe it? Oh, he's just let go. I don't know if you've seen that. A dogfish. Surprise, surprise. Hopefully there's not too many of them. Chuck this one straight back. We'll just get a feel to what the fishing's going to be like. It's going to be doggy, 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 doggy. Then I want to try and save my bait. Our usual customer. Getting our second bite of the day then. Oh, that's a big swell coming in. Or a dogfish. So I can. So let's have a look. It looks like a bullet to me. Come on, behave yourself. Definitely bullet. So strong. Worm bait just hooped right over. Great little bite. Nothing doing on that though. 
the other rods go in. Oh, I've got myself in a right mess here. Got myself in a right pickle. Right. Turn that off for the minute. Too many rods, right. He's got to be on there, isn't he? Seems to work a little bit better. Yeah, a bit of nodding. Yeah, definitely some of better. I'm I bet there's gonna be a bullet. Oh he just come off, has he? Yeah, he has as well. Oh, what a gutter. Yeah, my best it would have been that would be a bullet, just sucking on the bait. Makes a change from catching doggies. I know they're very similar, but. Fish on then. Oh, this is a weird bite. What have we got here? Whoa, nice bottom rass. We have a rod that's going crazy as well. Got myself in a right pickle here. Wow. <laughs> Let's all go here on the kayak today. <laughs> he is a nice rass. If you'll get him in for you. Oh, he's off. Oh. <laughs> nice. I'm having a bad day today. I went out and watched some music last night. So I'm a little bit, uh, I had a few beers, if you put it that way. Yeah, he is a nice ras. He is. There you are. Nice bad and ras. Causing chaos. Covered in spines. But yeah, he's a good few pounds. I have blues on the back. Beautiful, right, let's get him unhooked, get him back. Out like that, nice and simple. Just put him in the water a minute. Oh, you're gonna go, aren't you? Right, back he goes. barred straight off bosh put on another worm bait and get him back out there fish on the worm then bit of an otter this one another ras There he is, another nice ballon. They are covered in spines. But yeah, another nice ballon. Hooked right in the lips. Off he goes. Oof. Just had a cracking bite on this rod. Just gonna wait for him to feel. 
Turn on the other camera as well. Oh. Yeah, there's weight there. That's a better fish. Oh, nice hus. This will be a bit of a handful, I think. Um, yeah, I might have to put my phone away for this one. Oh, he just bit me off. <laughs> Whoa, it's not the hook. These fish are just full of muscle. There he is, nice bullass. Don't mind catching these. As he comes on the feed. <laughs> they won't be bit by one either. Woo -hoo. Come on mate, calm down. Let's get a good look at you. They are just uncontrollable. There he is, nice bullass. North Devon Bullas in the Bristol Channel. Woohoo! There you are, he calmed down for you. Yeah, I mean, water of the camera. Yeah, we'll get him back. Off he goes. Woohoo! Finally, better stamp of fish on the kayak. I was taking on a full squid bait. Just a simple running ledger and a big old squid. He can probably go back down. There we are, bait sorted. Chuck him back down there. My tope rod is still out the back. What I've done, I've just lifted him off the bottom. Just so the bait should be like a foot off the bottom. They will come up and take it. It just stops me snagging into some and I'm just gonna wait for that real to scream off. Right, happy days. Right, a little tidy up. And we'll catch some more fish. New little species for the day then. Oh my god, it's all happening here. It's all happening here. A little white in. who has swallowed that hook, so he is going to be bait. Let's sort out this other rod, because he's keeps screaming off. Come on. Another dogfish. Another doggy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put that white in it on as a bait. See if there's a taupe. Is it white? Oh, there's a little pollock. Beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. He's eating a leaf. He's just thrown up a leaf. <laughs> Weird. Somewhat decent there. My guess is we'll be a bullass. Oh, he's just come off. Just come off. Definitely a bullass just sucking at that mackerel then. Must have been looking to stay of it. Didn't find the hook. It was close.
Right, let's try that again. Yeah, that's a better fish. <laughs> you pull in the kayak round. Another big bullus. <laughs> this time he's hooked. Oh, he's not. <laughs> oh shit, where's the hook? Right, you stay there. Get that hook away. That was a bit of eventful, wasn't it? It just proves they just sit, suck on the bait and they refuse to let it go. That's it. Another nice bullass. They are very pretty fish. Size of the mouth on them. Woo! <laughs> Yeah. So the target in these fish baits, nice mackerel bait on the bottom. Over a bit of reef, jobs are good on. But yeah, let's get them back. Watch them swim away here. Straight down. Now is it just on a wire trace? With a size six chinu, I think that is, and a whole mackerel. All right, wait for us to spin back round. There was a bite on this rod as well. All happens at once, doesn't it? Another big bullet. Right. Swing him out of the way. And there's the other bullet. A little bit of faff in, but we got there. Slightly smaller this time. Hooked right in the corner on the chin. Off he goes. All right, a bit of chaos. Let's get all my rods rebated, get everything back in order, and I'll bring you back. Right, how to retrieve a anchor then. This is how I do it. There's probably many ways of doing it, but this is how I do it. So you've got your floating rope, which is attached to your pickup boy. We're gonna shuffle the trolley down to the middle of the kayak. And grab that reel as quick as possible. Right, as soon as you grab the reel, keep letting line out because now you're safe. You're not tethered to the bottom of the ocean midship. That is a no no. So get your floating rope out of the way, clip your anchor main line in there, and then shuffle him to the front. So you're now anchored at the front of the kayak. And we should swing round. Happy days. And now we can start pulling ourselves towards the anchor. I like to bail the rope out the back so it keeps it all straight or as straight as possible. And that should, yeah, the tide should keep that straight as well. Right, we're coming above the anchor now because I can feel the weight. It's quite reefy here, so it might be snagged. I've got a weak link on it, just a small cable tie. That's it, the anchor is up now. I can feel it off the bottom. We're only in 8.8 .8 meters of water, so not that far. Oh, 
Right, that's the anchor up now. And I can shimmy him to the side. And pick it up. That is how I do it. That is the, that is the most dangerous part of kayak fishing. Anchoring. Mini retrieving the anchor, just don't get caught mid-chip. Right, we'll be blown out to sea now. And then it's just a case of reeling in your line. So I've just come ashore because I was dying for a toilet. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look along all these little rock pools and try to find some crabs. And we can put a live crab out on then and try to target a smooth hound. There's got to be some crabs around there somewhere. Loads of rock pools. Loads of snails, loads of everything around here. But yeah, let's try and some crabs. So I've just got a few crabs, I've only got about four. And um, get the dry suits back on and then we'll go back out. We've got to get through this little bit of a dump. A peregrine falcon up there. That's cool. Anyway, we've got to get through this dump, which might be a little bit interesting. So, you might be uh, out for a little bit of a laugh in a minute when I get swamped. But yeah, we'll get our timings right. And we'll get out through this little bit of a gap. I wish me luck. Got a fish on the uh, on the worm bait there. We got D. F. 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 No dog fish. Bloody things. Gosh, it goes. Yeah, the fishing slowed right up at the moment. But we've just had the turn of the tide. We got, we're on the flood now. Hopefully that brings some fish down. Got a whole mackerel out again. We're either a tope or a burst. And we're just feeding these worms it. Let's have a beautiful bite on this, on the worm bait. Gonna go for a wrasse. Oh, it's a dogfish. God, oh, what a bite that was. Punching well above his weight on that. Bite on the worm rod then, if we can see it. Very small taps. Yeah. 
Another beautiful rest. Everyone's different. Look at the blue in that tail. Or green, greeny blue, turquoise. Hooked in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, love catching these rats. Perfect good scrap. T bar him off. Sorry, mate. That's it, the rats are back on the feed. Hopefully, the other fish join them. Little quarry on the worm bait then. Just a few little taps. Fish on. Gonna say it's a ras again. I don't know how much of that was filmed, but we've got another ballon. Steady Eddie, steady Eddie. Yeah, this one's a much brighter, sort of pinky, red, orangey type one. Very cool. I think he wants to go. There he goes. There he goes, off to the bob. Same on the sounder going down there. Happy days. Oh, new species. Conga eel. Oh, that fight felt a little bit different. Oh, he's just let go. <laughs> oh, that's another species for the day. First conger I've caught in a while. Oh, the other rod's just hooped over. Two rods in one hand. It goes quiet for a little bit and then a little bit of action. Oh, what is this? Another doggy. There must be thousands, thousands of them on this, isn't it? Right guys, that is all we got time for today. I'm gonna get in, that swell's getting up. I am bloody freezing, but it's been a good day. We've had loads of dogfish, over 30 dogfish. I haven't showed you them all because it's just pointless. Uh, some good nice sized ballon wrasse, some good sized um, bull husk as well, the pollock, and I think that was it, wasn't it? Oh, and the conger eel as well. So yeah, really nice day out in the kayak in a new location. I'll definitely come back here in the summer drifting over the reefs and stuff for bream, bass, pollock, you name it. I think this would be quite a nice little spot. And with that southerly wind, it does provide quite a bit of shelter. So I'm gonna head in. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm gonna see you on the next one.